I'm dancing to the music. I, yeah, you are. I know. The noticed. people on YouTube can't see this. Good. Okay, I can't buy anything stronger than normal potions. Just imagine the whitest guy dancing you've ever seen in your life. I've seen whiter. That's me. I'll be honest. I think Carlton does some whiter dancing than you're doing right now. Yeah, but he's doing, like, good bad dancing. I'm just doing bad bad dancing. Because, uh, fun fact, uh, Alfonso Herrero is, in fact, a trained, uh, ballroom dancer. Oh, we, I mean, I've, I've, I've seen him on, uh, Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, so he's, he's very good. He's very good. And very handsome. Uh, I don't really want to do anything else, so. Talk to Seraphy. Nah, I'm good. Go, go back and talk to Seraphy. Nah, I'm good. Talk to yeah. Seraphy. Talk to Seraphy. Talk to I'll Seraphy. Talk here. to Seraphy. Seraphy is oh, not oh, being talked oh, to oh, right oh, now. I'm over here and I'm saving. Saving back and forth because you aren't talking to Seraphy. Stop. You don't make me stop what? talking to Seraphy. And you really do not want me to stop this, do you? Mm, I guess not. Pervert. <laughs> yeah. Stop using your physical strength against me. Like some kind of pervert. Holy perverts are physically strong. <laughs> exactly. They need to be able to catch their prey. This is this is you want to go places with that. That's fine. I'm I'm going to walk down this gangplank. Good idea. We should probably move away from that line of talking. Probably should. You pervert. <laughs> See, I moved cuz I'm not a pervert. <laughs> I'm just hard to move because I'm fat. The things I put up with, I swear. The thing he puts up with is me. I am that thing. <laughs> you are the thing with which is put up with. Okay, so don't fucking go fight those assholes. See if you can get the other treasure chests without touching them. Uh, oh. I have a, I have a feeling I can't. Well, you got one without yeah, without so fighting I think, them. I think I can get this one. But I have a feeling if I two get, haste stones. Well, I will... get the one that's down there first. Okay. I don't think that's a required fight. I think that's like the other... I think it's. I think you're right. It is like the Frost Dragons. Yeah. Well, it, on this right, it might be. Oh! Mimic again. Yep. Uh, I guess it's fair that I keep getting ambushed. Alright. Attack! Attack! You resisted dying. Okay, we want to. I want to attack one more time. Yes, I was gonna go with subdue, but fuck it, imprison! You yeah, did it! I did it. You caught the mimic princess. I caught mimic coon. All right. Wow, a couple of different transfigurations. A mirage disguised as a treasure chest, a surprise on wary treasure hunters. There's no escaping one in battle. The poor thing has developed serious identity issues, but hey, that's the job. Also, let's make it official. This mimic has no relation to the other famous mimic in our game line lineup. What other what what mimic? Uh, oh, uh, the one from six. Go, go. Okay. What? Cat's like, I know that. Yeah. Uh, what abilities do we have here? Shit! Kiraga, Libra, Balance, HP Plus, Action Plus. Give me an Elixir. Last Stand, Vigilance, Blank Space for the other one. Uh, Mimic has Death Protect, Arcane Counter Stance, Armor Piercer. Oh, so we can D. Yeah, it can it can change. Here. And then Thunderbolt, Gaze, Miraculous Drill. That's kind of cool. Thunderbolt, Gaze, Miraculous. Yeah, these are all really good. Want to keep the Mimic in our party? Yeah, I think we'll, I think we will end up doing that. Okay, let's... Arcane counter stance. I think it like if you get spell if it gets spell cast it can well, like. Well, it does counter. have normal counter, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, well, let's go ahead and uh, let's, what should we name it? Mimi. There's really only one way that could have gone. Yep, I thought of it immediately. <laughs> oh, that's adorable! I love it. Okay, so she is uh, me me medium size. 
Um, who do we want to? I feel like 2B could probably be left behind. Yeah, let's go. I, we haven't got a lot out of 2B recently. Bye, 2B. You were adorable, but you're gone now. Plus, you know, once we get to later levels, I can always go back and pick up ones and be like, what do you turn into? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, uh, so is this door open? No. Okay, so I guess I do have to fight, fight him. Fight the Koopigaroons. And... Oh, nope, he's protecting those fucking chests. Yep. Okay. So we know that they were weak to lightning and wind. And that Are you sure? Get... Are you sure that wasn't Bruce you're thinking of? I'll, I'm gonna Libra it again. Yeah, Libra them sure. again. I'm pretty sure they had the same basic weaknesses. Okay, okay, yeah, they are weak to lightning and wind. Okay, they don't have any particular resistance to fire, so I can't hit them with blaze. Right. Uh, as long as I'm not hitting them with water or ice. Uh huh. Um, we're Go good. ahead and cycle their stats to see. Oh, I keep uh, hitting them along. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, less than fifty percent, or more, than, less, less than fifty percent chance of resisting sleep. Uh huh. Which and, is probably good. And of course, they only have, they have a very low chance of resisting berserk. Uh, they ha looks like they have really high defense, but low, uh, low HP. Yeah. So if you blaze, you'll probably just destroy them all. Actually, yeah. Is there a... There isn't a... Actual slot for what their... Yeah, what their, uh, physical stats are. Yeah. So, okay. I'm gonna go ahead... Let's see... Uh, single. I don't have any all attacks from her yet. Uh, go but ahead and just blizzard one of them. See how much damage it does. Well, they were resistant to it. Ah, that's true. It's going to do half the damage. Uh, At least with this, I have a potential of putting one asleep. Yeah, go ahead. I like it. Yeah, he did not fall asleep. Water. That's fine. That's... Oh, that's less fine. You're berserked. I am berserking on the Magna Warrior. Do a little more damage to him? Well, that's what Berserk does. Fell on. Because you also fell down. Oof. Okay. Oof Oofa doofa. Yeah, they are. They are kicking your ass. They are kicking my Batowski. Is that the right way to go? We had it said the treasure ship. The pirate ship sounded promising. Yeah. Yeah, it did. Okay. There's no real reason to save. I yeah. saved before I went back. Okay, in. let's try this again. This yeah. time you don't need to Libra them first. So just for the sake of getting them done with, yeah. let's just blaze them and see how that does. Yeah, we'll see how that does. And then when they berserk you again, you can die. Actually, oh, damn it. Triangle. I was doing really good. I was doing good this entire time. I wanted to see if there was something I had that was like have a boost in magic or something for a period of time. But I don't think I do. No. So I could boost his magic up a little bit. That'd be pretty cool. Also, let me just... Actually, you know what you... Okay, is that what I'll see you're a blaze, though? Damn it. Um... Go up. I was over there. Yeah, that's the bonus area. I think I'm supposed to go this way. No, I think that's where it is. No, because that, because see, there's the thing I flutter a pass that's actually left to right. Oh, okay. So that's in, that's that's a bonus fight, but I'll give it one more yeah, shot. Yeah, give it one more shot. There really isn't any consequences at this point. I was thinking that we could, like, unfortunately we get rid of Blaze, but what we could mm -hmm. do is replace uh, somebody with Bruce to give you some water resistance. Yeah, but like I said, it would. I th yeah, well, Blaze, I think, is actually a, a, a frit specific. Okay, so let's ability. Let's keep that and see how well it does. Um, let me actually check. Yeah, it's it's frit. So yeah, he specifically has Blaze. Okay. Um, so if I wanted to. No, I'd have to replace Frit with uh, Brucey. Yeah. He's not small. Unfortunately. Silly um, Brucey. This way, yeah. Be a tiny shork. Yeah, that's like... I'm, we're not remembering that wrong, are we? That they flat out said this is like... 
Yeah, because the... The pirate ship that was covered in gemstones and... Yeah, because look, the star is up there. Yeah, like... Well, the star is, I think... Oh, uh, maybe, eh. Yeah, let's, uh, I don't... Let's try it one more yeah. time. Let's let's one, just, more, one more shot. Let's try it one more shot. One more shot. Alright, we're gonna give it- we're gonna give it a thing. Okay, well... Alright, you went first this time. Um... I do also want to remember that I have healing light if necessary. Okay. Or uh, if I'm able to. Uh, uh... Less magic damage taken, but it doesn't protect me from statuses. Well, hold on. Since we- we need to inflict one with Berserk to create a prism tunity. Yeah. Try using the war drum you have and see what it does. And then have just... Uh, Lon, burn the shit out of them. Might as well. Yeah, just hit one of them with. You well, missed. Good job. Had one job. All right, let's see how this does. Really? Well, well, I didn't die in the first turn this time. Uh, I guess. Heal Lon up and try Blaze again. Just hit him. Might as well. Oh, wow. That did so little. This is not a fight I think I am capable of winning at the time. You just say that because you're losing. Yeah. Yep. So your problem is that they they hit you. Yeah. The problem with winning this fight is that you keep losing it. Hmm. Is that really how it is? Yeah, I'm. I'm yeah, very, we're moving the fuck on. I'm very good at video games, so I yeah, know we're, exactly we're, what the uh, the problem is. You know what? I bet you. I you know I'm sure there's actually. Wait, no, there's no equipment in this game. I am sure there is something that protects from berserk or something. Also, oh yeah, there's no. So, yeah, we're just going to move on. That's so weird. Could have sworn that was the end result of what we were supposed to do. Oh, well. I guess I'm just a dummy. Yep. I, I actually just looked up this fight on... Uh... Uh huh. Online and literally everybody is talking about. It. I was like, "Well, I know how to inflict berserk. How do I survive round two of the fight?" <laughs> That's like okay. Uh, this is a good segue to something that I've kept in my pocket to talk about. Um, so in my off time, I've been playing Tales of Vesperia. Uh huh. This is the wrong way to go. Uh, and. There are flat out tutorial fights you have to abuse in order to win them. Dude, it's on. Let's make this good. Um like in the sense that you have to like do you have loop, loop you the enemy AI into doing something stupid. More or less. So it's like I looked it up because I'm like, well there's two fights I had to look up. One was against a giant wolf. Uh-huh. But literally everyone is like, yeah, that fight is bullshit. Mm -hmm. Like I had some people going like, um, they're like the, the first question that always comes to mind is, "Am I under level?" I'm like level 16. Yeah. Uh, guys on forum board, am I under leveled? What do I need to do? Do I need to grind? And someone's like, "I'm level 20 and it's still kicking my ass." Yeah. <laughs> and then you get the people who go like, "Yeah, I uh, I did beat it. Um, the way I got it around it was I was level 50." <laughs> yeah. It's like, and I, I I had made specific items that help. It's like. So you were a veteran of the game and you were probably on New Game Plus because there's no way you were level 50 that early in the game unless you were really without a life. Yeah. Um, like, you really had to give up a lot of hours to be level 50 that early in the fucking game. That's that's sitting outside uh, of, of the first town in Skyrim shooting plot NPCs with an arrow to make sure your bow and arrow skill is up yeah. to max before playing the game. <laughs> And then finding out that, oh, right, all the enemies are now uber powerful because they scale to your level. Yup. Uh, it actually reminds me hilariously of 
a thing that used to happen back uh, mm -hmm. in World of Warcraft, mm -hmm. back when they had weapon skill up until the end of Wrath of the Lich King. Um, the problem was that we leveling weapon skill was stupid. Yeah. Uh, for one, it was based entirely on how intelligent you were. I mean, you knocked him out, but I don't know why you fired a shark. I don't know either. Just attack him. Uh, you were saying about weapon uh, skill. Yeah, okay. So, weapon skill. Good job. It, it leveled... It was like you had five weapon skill per level you had. So, like, 300 was the max when uh -huh. the thing was 60, and it would go up by, like, 50 every expansion. Mm -hmm. Um... So first of all, it was based on intelligence, so if you were a melee fighter, you leveled it slower unless you got specific int buffs, which was hilariously stupid. It makes um, stupid, yeah. It was also just like a random thing. So a lot of times, like, you couldn't just do it on, like, enemies that were just kind of standing there. Mm -hmm. um, so what you had to do was, you'll have to raise the water to do that, yeah. um, is you had to find enemies that you could just hit, like, infinitely. <laughs> So, really there's sick of all this two of them that they could do. If you were melee, there was a quest where the enemies would go to, like, 50 HP and then become immune to damage. Uh-huh. Oh, well, I did read that cold weather helps keep you focused, so I guess it's not all that bad. Yeah, Lon, stay focused. shivering uses less energy than a... Oh, man, do I just love the cold. Well, come on, come on, no time like the present. Rain, shut the fuck up. Uh, so there's one that would go in invincible, and you would just, like, yeah. hit it. Uh, but the other one was Dr. Boom, infamous of Hearthstone, yeah. who was part of a quest where you couldn't melee him. He would, like, just throw bombs at you. Um, but if you stood at range, you could, like you were supposed to, like, hit him with a thing for a quest, right? But if you just stood at range, you could just shoot arrows at him infinitely. So a lot of hunters and, like, range... Like, well, pretty much just hunters, but uh, also... Warriors and rogues, because at the time, uh, you had a well, that worked. It did. You had a uh, range. You could equip a range weapon with them for uh, stats. Yeah. Like entirely, that was the only reason to have them. Uh, they would do it to level up that skill too, just in case they ever needed to like auto attack from range or like throw stuff at them. So you would just stand there and just shoot at Doctor Boom for like an hour. You could just AFK. Mm -hmm. Um, the best one was um, fist, because everyone could learn how to use fists. But not everyone could equip fist weapons. Okay. So, uh, if you wanted to level up your fist skill and you didn't have a fist weapon, you were just punching people with your not at all strong. Aw, yeah! There she is! All right, keep going. So what I would do is there was a quest in Wrath of the Lich King where you had to go fight these eggs that were like in a, a forest where some proto drakes were. And um, the eggs were like really, like they, they didn't hit you back, but they had a lot of HP and you're supposed to like destroy them, which as a warlock, I could, you know, do easily with spells, but I would just take off my weapon and punch them to death, which would take like 10 minutes mm -hmm. and would get me like a skill each. Come, Swayzo! We fly! So, that was always fun. It kind of reminds me a little bit like that. Like having to just grind that up. I don't mind having those, like, weirdly specific fights in RPGs if they're not, like, main fights. Like, well, that's it's like, uh, it's, Final Fantasy 3. Yeah. Where you basically need to have uh, a, like a party of mystic knights mm -hmm. or you had to have the entire party with the mini uh, spell yeah just or... see if you can just put Bruce there that should yeah um, he is just a little bit so go find somebody who's not water resistant yeah just throw a yeah he's fine yeah um, mm -hmm. like getting to the um, there was parts where like you needed uh, a scholar. Mm -hmm. There was parts where like uh, I know in the remake they had this. I don't know if in the original they had the dungeons where you had to be mini. They did. Okay. Oh yes, they did. So yeah, you you needed a party of spellcasters there because if you were a party of physical attackers, you were fucked because mini reduced your damage well, physical damage to one. Yeah, I don't know why you would ever want to go through 
that game with just physical fighters. Right. I mean, in that game, your stats were affected by whatever class you were attached to. Right. So most of the time, like you'd want to have certain specific classes. I'm just realized I've just been kind of going. You're fine for now, because this is where you were supposed to go. Yeah, but now I'm gonna have to find a way to lower the water. Well, there's a swirl shell I'll probably end up needing. Uh, just go back and do the thing again. Is that really how it works? I would assume so, because it didn't like disappear or stay down. Mm, okay. Yeah. Whoa! It's an Ariman. It's a big Swayzo. It's even more of a Swayzo than the Swayzo is. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Can he teleport? Okay, neither can Swayzo. Yep, Ariman. They are weak to fire. I'ma try knocking them down. Although it'll probably just kill them. Or you miss. miss. Does have low accuracy. You're blind. Oh, well, I don't need. Oh shit, I'm out of fucking. I already got you. <laughs> I already have you. Oh, Flick. Flick. So uh, anyways, I was, I was talking about fucking tutorial fights. Yeah. Um, so there are these two knights who keep showing up who are basically the tutorial knights. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, like whenever it's, whenever it's time to fucking learn a new thing, you better call on the tutorial knights. Um, and so you do. Yes. And like the one that te you, teaches you the... Um, it's like the over limit or whatever, the over arts. Yeah. Um, that fight. Well, you're taught to the, the, the whole thing of like, oh, be in over limit mode, use an art, and then it'll and then trigger into another art to do the thing. Mm -hmm. And like, so you're like, oh, okay, this is what I have to do. If you do that, they will kill you. Huh? You like because the problem is there's two of them, and even though you're doing your super special cutscene attack move. Yeah. You can be hit out of it. Oh, so it's just as bad as when it was in, like, uh, uh, Tales of Symphonia. Probably. So, like, one, you're hitting one, but the other one just needs to take a little poke at you. Uh -huh. And if they poke at you, they almost are always part of a string that's going to hit you multiple times. Right. And, like, everyone, like, everything I went to was, like, talking shit about people who couldn't get past that fight. I just needed to do Birdo and Brucey. Yeah. Uh, and it's, like... When when the way to beat that fight is run around and abuse the distance attack laser gets a tensho move. Yeah. That's not a well designed tutorial fight. Right. Um, it reminds me of why in Symphonia summoning was not useful. Um because essentially the only person who could summon the summons was Sheena, and she could only do it when she was in over limit. So like Essentially, you had to wait until Sheena was really weak, mm -hmm. and then you would summon, like, a creature, and it would just kind of, like, not be all that useful. Like, it was much easier just to either, A, use somebody who wasn't Sheena who was actually useful in the fight. Right. Or, B, uh, have Sheena do, like, the four or five other things she could do that were not summoning. Cause like the rest of her ninja art shit was actually useful. Mm -hmm. oh, That's kind of not a problem per se, but an interesting thing about Final Fantasy X, where it's like yeah. the only member of your party for a, at least for a while until you start fucking around with the fuck sphere grid. The, the, the main healer of your party is also the summoner, so it's like I can summon or I can just heal and use all my super effective dudes. Yeah, I mean the summons were actually a little bit more useful though. Yeah. No, you have to go cannon back. Yeah. You messed up. Did I mess up? Yes, because you need to actually go down from where you're at. Oh, you're right. I just saw a cannon and decided I wanted to go. Yeah. There we go. Bitch that you are. Yes. Uh, but actually, Final oh, Fantasy... The That's the pirate ship. Yeah. Huh. I don't think there's any debate about that. Then what was up with I the other pirate see. ship? It's fucking... It's the evil pirate ship. Anyway, um... Gimme, gimme. I'll give you, give you. Yeah, you want a soul shell? Yeah, there you go. 10 actually brings up a lot of what I was talking about, because I, I was referring more to the, like, Colosseum fights in 10, where they're, like, challenging and you have to abuse a specific strategy to beat most of them. 
but they're also optional. Like, you don't have to do them to progress. You can just do them to make stuff easier. It's so, like, if you feel like going and fighting something and getting, like, an item that Riku can mix together with another item that can kill everything in, like, one hit. Get the ancient blitz ball that turns enemies to stone. Yeah. Good job. Um, I mean, that's half of why my Waka was always, like, the weakest party member and why it was, uh... I think Waka's tied to Ifrit's damage over limit. Um, because when you... Okay, when you get a, a Celestial Weapon uh, for a character, it also uh, unlocks the damage cap for the, for a specific summon. Mm -hmm. And I think Ifrit's is tied to... Uh... Yeah. Yeah! Hi, sweetie. How are uh, how are you doing on advancing there? Good. You don't have enough SP. Great, awesome, fucking, fucking three blocks fucking way. And we have one six SP. total points. Yep. Um. But yeah, it's tied to each one of the uh, each summon, and I again I think Waka's is Ifrit. Mm -hmm. Um. So, like, Ifrit always did the least damage in my party, because in order to get Waka's, uh, thing, his, his yeah. Celestial Weapon, you had to beat Blitzball, and I had no patience well, for it. fuck Blitzball. It's hilarious to me that there are so many people who keep asking for them to put Blitzball into Final Fantasy XIV, and I'm just like, what are you doing? What are you actually smoking when you okay, ask for that? here's the part that freaked a lot of people who don't want Blitzball out. Yeah? Um... They were teasing with, like, 4.55, the most recent patch they did, big uh -huh. patch. Like, we're going to put something new in the Manderville Gold Saucer as a mini game, And, every, and like, half of the people were like, oh, yeah, it's going to be Blitzball. And the other half of us were like, fuck me if it's Blitzball. Uh-huh. Turned out to be Mahjong. Oh. Uh, hilariously, the staff really liked the game, really liked the game of Mahjong. So in their spare time, they had created... A. Uh, you're, on, you're on Tama. Yeah, I know. I forgot. I was gonna. This whole thing was centered on the fact that I was gonna put Suezo up top, but he's not a small. Nope. He's a mead. I wonder. Hmm. Keep talking. I'm, I'm gonna be thinking okay. here for a so little bit. So apparently they really liked Mahjong, so they just created like a, a mock up of in the game how to play it between each other, like during their spare time. Yeah. And they were just like, uh, let's just add this. There is a something I can turn her into. Interesting. There's a couple things. Uh, hold on, go back. It gives you a siphon mirror jewel? Go, go down. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of weird. Well, I think, she, well, she, say she... Go down and see what Arcane Counter-Strike does. Oh, uh, uh, armor piercing. Yeah. And then her counter stance and retaliate against magical attacks. Okay. Yeah. It looks like she has a first strike. Raises the odds of preemptive strike. Ooh, that's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Um, well, so what I was thinking is if I can, if I can put if this person, because because this thing it has death. Uh huh. Doesn't seem to really have. I was gonna see if it had like dark skills and I combined it with princess, but I made this one the tiny one. Uh huh. But uh, that's not gonna be able to do. do uh, she has no escape to. Uh, all right, whatever. Well, we have we have the undead princess, right? At the very least. So. Well, let's go onto this pirate ship then. Uh, I didn't actually save. Okay, there we go. Uh, so yeah, they added they added Doman Maja. They call it yeah. Doman, which is the f the Far East. Man, country. fucking playing g traditional games in fucking Yakuza is like torture. Because it's like, oh, cool, really realistic, like, very set in its rules version of Mahjong and Koi Koi. How the fuck do I play Mahjong and Koi Koi? Yeah, uh, Hanafuda. Yeah, Hanafuda. But uh, it'll always be Koi Koi to, yeah. me, to me. Uh, fun fact I have won two games of Dome and Mahjong. I think oh. We got this one and I have done so entirely by using. Oh, God. It's just a fumble. Oh, more of these fucking huh? assholes. The pirates. Did they just call us pirates? They did. They called you a pirate. Say the pot knows a kettle when it sees it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. We're outnumbered, Kubo. Now what, Kubo? Stop saying Kubo and fight, Kubo. Oops, Kubo. 
<laughs> she, <laughs> they, they look more offended that she did it than anything else. I don't know if that's... Is that like traditional Moogle music? Because all I remember is the fucking Moogle house in Crystal Chronicles. And... It's like... It's like, uh... Fucking Sugalite when when Sapphire is the only smart one and it's Ruby and Amethyst running around being fucking idiots. Probably can't imprison these guys. But I'll they're Koopire. Yep, unimprisonable. Un Thankfully, they're much weaker than the Koopikaroons. Yeah. Fucking die. In harmony, in harmony. You're you, I'm me, together we can live in harmony. Everyone dies! <laughs> Shout out to the uh, the three of you that remember that episode of the Little Mermaid animated series. That was the one I never cared about. It had uh, Tim Curry in it. He was a big angry stingray man. He was like a merman, but he had a stingray I mean, butt. He is Tim Curry. 